Are you okay? After being part of the most successful England side for almost 50 years, City's Lionesses are back and it's back to work in the Women's Super League. Well, our five England players spent an incredible 42 days away beating Germany for the first time in their history to claim third prize. Along with a special welcome home in the dressing room, we sat down with them to share their favourite personal photos from the tournament. Well, Steph, let's have a look at your top pictures from the tournament. Which, which of the ones do you think best sums it up? Um, I think I'll go this one, uh, just because I think this picture just shows how much it meant to everyone, like in terms of when we played Norway, we obviously went a goal down um, and then managed to equalise, I managed to score in the World Cup for the first time ever and then Lucy scored an absolute screamer and I think it just showed how much it meant to everyone to come back from being a goal down. Well, this one will be my first one, uh, it's actually after I scored my first goal, it's the celebration with Jordan Nobbs. She's actually like my best friend who I grew up with from the age of 12 or whatever and she was like if we score, if you score or if I score we've got to do the celebration. I was like yeah, 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 I'll never score, I'll never score and then I scored so I had to run across the bench and do this little handshake with Jordan. What is it? It's like this hand, we just made it up. It looks like you just... That was the end, we actually had to do a fist <laughs> pump at the end and we were like, we actually missed. Oh, it was a bit embarrassing, yeah, a little bit, <laughs> but it was just funny that we actually got to do it because it was literally that day she was like, if you score, you have to come and see me and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to score. And then I end up scoring a winning goal. Were well, you grabbing all sorts of headlines for your goal scoring exploits yeah. out there? Can you believe it? No, no, that's what I mean, I, I can't believe I scored, let alone like scored the goal that I did, it was... With a yeah, I still can't believe it now. I watch it now and I'm just like, that wasn't me. So this was at the end of the game, obviously with our medal. It meant a lot to get the bronze medal. Um, but I've also got a cowboy hat on, which before the game, if you've seen the video, we were dancing to five, six, seven, eight. And we said that we were going to do the cowboy celebration if we scored, but because it happened so quickly at the end and everyone went mad, we didn't get a chance to. So I thought I'd do it at the end, celebrations. Five, six, seven, eight, five steps. Yeah, my boots, maybe. Yeah, yeah, another yeah. one. Well, this picture is me and my brother uh, just afterward won the medal, so it was good that he could come out. He could only come to the semi final because of his teaching commitment, so um, when you were with me at the semi final, he'd be able to come and support us, so it was brilliant that he was there and then witnessed us win the bronze as well. It just at one point felt like that's how the rest of our life was going to be, you know, walking around in a, a, a purple England tracksuit, you know, and. Um, it's, it's a bit strange, like there's a lot of emotions, like a lot of pride and um, excitement about everything that we've achieved. Probably my favourite thought was obviously the one after beating Germany when we've all got our medals on and I think um, that just capped off the whole tournament. I think we were very unlucky not to be in a World Cup final and but to be able to pick ourselves up after an emotional two days after getting knocked out the semi-final, we knew that we had to pick ourselves up, we knew that it was a chance to beat Germany in for the first time in 20 games and then to go and play extra time and manage to score a penalty and uh, win 1-0 I think we deserve that medal and very delighted for everybody involved. This one this was at the end of the, the Germany game and the camera must have just come up over the top of us mm -hmm. and our staff had got into a huddle and then like we didn't get told to do anything the players just got to, we just kind of went in a huddle around them so it's kind of the, that's all the staff and then the players had kind of jumped oh. around them. But we didn't actually like plan it or anything, it just kind of, everyone just kind of happened. And it's happened. Yeah, and it's, it's just funny that that's what our team was like the whole tournament and it, it wasn't like planned or forced, it was just, yeah, let's just get in and around it. The third one is the team huddle. Um, I just think it sums up our trip and how together we was. And at the start of every training session, at the end of every training session, the beginning of every game, at the end of every game, we always come together as a team and put our hands in the middle and a few of the girls say a few words and then on today we say team so it meant a lot. So it's a picture of me and Tony, uh, this was straight after the Japan game so just kind of showing how disappointed we were um, and then just what a difference a couple of days make, obviously we would have loved to have been in the final um, but I think we made the best out of a bad situation by getting a medal so 
I quite liked how that was only a few days apart, but it really showed our bounce back ability to go back and, and win the next one. I think what um, makes me most proud of, of everything that we've achieved is giving um, you know the people of England something to be proud of again and kind of really kicking down the door in terms of changing the perception of women's football in this country. As a captain, it probably doesn't get much better than that, does it? Uh, no, <laughs> unless you win it. Unless you but, win. Um, yeah, I think personally, but also for the team, I think we we got better and better as the tournament went on, and I think you've seen us gain momentum and an opportunity to wear the England shirt and play in a World Cup and captain your country. I would, it is a dream come true, and to be captain of uh, such a great group of people as well, I think that makes it even more special.